Leo in Pasadena, California, home of the Rose Parade, as I remember. Hey, Paul, first off, let me thank you for such instructive videos and apologize for constantly believing you were a lunatic. <laughs> All right, I love it. Speaking audio related bull, uh, I'm sorry, BS. Mm -hmm. In all honesty, every time my limited budget allowed me to prove one of your snake oil-like statements wrong, I ended up confirming them instead. <laughs> this is great. Anyway, after a few years, I was able to put together a pretty nice stereo setup. I'm confused, however, by the fact that sometimes sounds of instruments seem to come from the back of the room. Now, everybody always speaks about width and depth of the soundstage, but always referring to being in front of the listener. Is what I sometimes experience and greatly enjoy a result of audio gear soundstage, or is it a happy accident due to poor acoustic treatment? Well, okay. Let's see if I can feed you some more snake oil. <laughs> That's a funny note. Thank you for saying You made me laugh. That, that made my day. Okay. Um, the problem with a lot of these questions is, of course, I'm just speculating. I'm just guessing what's happening. And my guess is, and I don't know why this would be, my guess is you're getting some kind of phase cancellation. It could be something that is in the recording. It could be something that's in your setup. For example, Roger Waters and his, what is it, Amused to Death album, I think, used something called Q sound. Q sound is a way of using crosstalk cancellation. In other words, by careful phase manipulation between the left and the right speaker, um, you can cancel out what hits the left ear and only hits the right ear. And if you do it just right, it can be astounding. So, and there's a number of ways to do it. Roger Waters and a few people do it right in the recording. I've heard it, there's a couple of Madonna tracks where they do this sort of same thing. And you hear people like way over here, you hear them behind you. In fact, the first time I ever heard this was on a POC speaker years and years ago. They had a, a, a thing called an SRS. Don't remember what it stood for. But between the two speakers, they had a cable and it used phase cancellation. And, I, you know, George Klopfer, who was a, a friend of mine, he was the president of Polk, he, he saw me, hey, come here, come here, you gotta hear this, sat me down and just said, I'm gonna tell you a thing. Put it on, you tell me what you hear. And I'm sitting there listening to this, and all of a sudden, there's things happening behind me. And to the side, I'm like, I'm turning my head like, whoa. And as soon as I turned my head, it all went away. It wasn't really back there. So that illusion can happen because of phase cancellation. That's my guess. But I don't know for sure. Anyway, thanks for the good laugh. All right.